All right, what's up everyone? It's Cameron, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about troubleshooting FBM Fox's bulk uploader. Um, and the, you know, the little button that I've talked about recently where it can just upload a bunch of products. But the main thing though, is I'm gonna talk about the report details and errors that you get and how to overcome those. Because I've had trouble with those. I had to reach out to the um, maker of FBM Fox specifically for him to help me because one, I'm lazy and I'm an idiot when it comes to these things. I don't know the ins and outs of how this like software programming crap works. Like, I don't know, I'm lazy, like I said. And I just, I want it to be as simple as possible. Um, especially when you're paying for something, you just like want it to work because you don't understand it. <clears throat> especially if you're older or even my age, like I know I'm older to compared to some of you, but like I'm, I'm 28. Uh, if that matters to you. And even me, I'm already to the point where I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Just, I just want it to work. I just wanted to make money. Okay. So let's get in there and talk about it. These are things where, um, like what you're seeing here, you're getting these random issues of like the brand flagging at you. This GTIN thing, identifier exists. The link, you know, I'm now just reading crap on the screen, but you can see and I'm gonna go ahead and leave these like names of stuff. Feel free to steal them. I don't have them on my shop anymore. They were just from when I was trying to figure out how this crap worked. So they were completely random products that I used to sell a long time ago. So, <clears throat> but you know, like all this crap where you're just like, okay, well it just says it failed all my items. Look, it says 405 products were rejected. You know, like why, why here? Okay, I reached out and here are the answers that I got. And ever since I got these answers, it's working just fine. In FBM Fox, you go to your products section and you know, you, you see all your products there. And the, the problem with them is that when it comes to these things over here, the brand, the brand is something that you absolutely need to have in there. Um, mine, you know, you can just name it whatever your store is called, but they've, he's updated so many things in there now to where you can honestly just type in auto detect on your brand. You can, it, it needs to have a category that it automatically lists in or else Facebook doesn't know what to do with it. You can also just type in auto detect and it just works. I know you don't know what that means right now, but stick with me and I'll show you. <laughs> All right. So in FBM Fox, we're gonna hop in and we're gonna go to templates and I'm gonna create a new template. And if you've seen his video on this, cool, but you might just stick around and watch mine just because I know like, I'm only gonna explain to you how it worked for me. He explains to you things that he understands very easily and that you need to know, but maybe you just don't hear him when he's explaining it because you, when you watched it that first time, you just heard a lot of new information. So just consider this a second run through of the dumb guy explaining what worked for him. <laughs> uh, because, you know, I also learned from FBM Fox's videos too. So definitely rewatch those like a couple times if you're having trouble with something and then wait for me to slowly get a video out that talks about the same exact thing in a dumber version because it works for me. All right, <clears throat> let's hit this little plus sign next to the manage templates, next to the search bar and everything, I'm gonna hit plus. And we're gonna start a new template. And this is gonna be the basis of how all of our stuff uploads into shops and you need all these things in there. So first, just to show you that it changes, under marketplace, so the second option, choose Facebook shops. None of the other things, just Facebook shops, because that's what we're talking about. Template, um, I'm just gonna do test shops as my thing, just for you guys, so you guys, you know, so I don't get confused later, even though it's gonna be the exact same template that I already use for stuff. Um, under quantity, this is totally up to you. I like to put things at like 15 to 20, so I'm just gonna do 20 there, no problem. For my markup, these will auto fill as you do it, so I'm gonna do a 50% margin and see how it put 1.5 as my markup. That's how it calculates the markup. I know in the past, that's been kind of confusing for some people, how they do that, but um, it's a lot more fluid. If you just use the percentage, it'll update the, mar the markup field itself. 
Shipping price, I'm gonna leave blank because in shops, you just mark what shipping you have and it will auto default to that instead of you actually putting it in your template. So I just leave it blank. On my shop, I have five a $5 shipping across the board right now since I've started. And I think within four to five days, I made a thousand dollars profit plus. So I'm pretty happy with that right now. And so I'm just leaving it until I need to experiment in the future. All right, custom product link. I'm not gonna put anything there either because it should auto fill when I put products in. Shipping method, also not gonna touch. It's just gonna default to the shipping method that is on Facebook, which is going to be the Facebook, whatever the hell you're doing. All right, brands, auto detect. If that's not in there, it's probably blank on yours. Type in auto detect and mine has this little drop down only because I've typed it. That's one of those like predicting things. Yours probably won't have a drop down. Just type in auto detect exactly like that and it'll be fine. Condition, you're gonna do new, just do new like you should. <clears throat> and these um, Facebook product category and Google product category, when so I'm doing this now just to show you guys, and I don't know if these, you can see on my screen, they already say auto detect. When I first did this, they didn't say that. They were just blank, and then you know, you'd know you go in here and type in like home, and you'd have to find some category or whatever. But if you're listing for across multiple categories, you don't want your default category to be like garden supplies, but then you are shipping like car accessories. You know what I mean? So. Um, one thing I learned from him and from his video was <clears throat> the option for auto detect. So I bring this up because yours might be blank or he's updated this to where it automatically just has it as auto detect. I don't know for sure if yours will say that. If it doesn't say that, start typing in auto and auto detect is an actual clickable option. Go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to do it on both, even though it already says it. Cause I don't know. I don't know. Header. I am just going to type in something. Thank you for your business. Cool. Footer, and I'm just going to put thank you again. I don't know. Just just to have something. <clears throat> you can actually go in and customize cool headers and stuff, so feel free to do that. You might even put like a couple, like, I don't know if you can put like enters in there. Um, to like space it between the thing. And another thing too is a lot of you guys have been asking me questions the last couple of days because of my talking about shops that, you know, you're like, so do you just let FBM Fox auto upload the description? Cause sometimes it can kind of, sometimes it can look messy. You don't clean it up at all. No, no, I don't clean it up at all. Um, it, it's getting better and better. And I know he just made a video about that. I haven't watched it yet. So I don't know if it resolves issues, if it tells you how to fix it or if it's just addressing things. Um, just acknowledging it. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet, but either way I'm lazy. And to me, this is a numbers game. I don't care about any of that. To me, I literally uploaded 33 items my first day and made a thousand dollars four days later. Like I don't care. And I didn't touch anything. I did two minutes of work for uploading during, through this method and I haven't touched it since. So yeah, the only, the little nugget of information in here that might be valuable to you that I'm experimenting with that has nothing to do with this is, so I uploaded those 33 products, right? And I made a, like a thousand dollars, right? In a few days or four days, <clears throat> five days. I don't know what it was. Anyway, then my sales significantly dropped off because I, and because now, you know, I uploaded 33 products that first day. Well, within those days of selling afterwards, I started slowly up uploading more and more products and I got to about 1500 products or 1300 maybe. And then my sales just dropped. So statistically, it doesn't make any sense, right? I uploaded just 33 random items, got a thousand dollars out of it. So many sales a day, it was starting to stress me out because I don't use a VA right now for this. And I was spending the first hour or two of my day fulfilling orders and hoping I actually made a product go out of stock on Amazon. And then I had to convert to another product and just double up on it and lose a tiny bit of profit to make sure I fulfilled orders. Anyway, <clears throat> I started uploading products across all sorts of categories and my sales kind of tanked. I haven't talked about that in a video yet, but I plan to. Anyway, today I just deleted all those other products and I've only kept products that are within the same category. And I'm gonna experiment and see if my sales start to increase again, because I don't know if Facebook's like, man, this, this shop's all over the place. We don't know who to target it to. So 
just a little little thing that literally is like in the moment what's happening with me right now. If you made it this far into the video, that might be some gold news. I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> I recommend keeping your categories very similar when you're finding products. So auto detect, I'm going to save change. Now, what this is going to do and um, when you upload products, now if I go here, I will, you know, change this drop down because right now it's only displaying 10 products. I'm going to change this drop down to like 250 and I'm going to hit search so that it updates the page <clears throat> because now it's displaying up to 250 products if you have that many. And I'm going to check mark all of them, right? Now I'm going to go to bulk action and you can change all these things right here. See, so um, you can change edit marketplace, edit brand, edit. Um, template this is what I want to do the most just to make sure that everything's uploaded uploaded I'm gonna to go to edit template and I'm gonna hit apply and then I'm gonna select test shops and then I'm gonna hit save changes okay um, and I'm not gonna do it here because I'm not actually updating it on mine but that because mine already have templates assigned to it and I don't want to like make it change a little bit and then have to upload again but do that and then just to be safe you don't have to do this but just to be safe I also went in to edit shops brand while everything was still checkmarked, hit apply, made it sure it was auto detect and hit save to change. Then I did the same thing and then I made sure I went to um, edit marketplace just to make sure, see how it says Facebook shops and marketplace, I unchecked marketplace and hit save changes. So I'm just doing all of them just in case. You shouldn't have to, but I do it just in case. And then um, the biggest one too is the edit category. And as long as they say auto detect, save changes, I'm good to go. And then I that got rid of all of these problems. And for the first time after months of trying to get this thing figured out, I got, I got the green light. Facebook uploaded all my products. They were actually in my catalog and within I think 12 hours into that, I had already made my first 100 or $200. I made 30 sales my first day. It was insane. So that is basically the gist of troubleshooting those issues. Or it's it's not really all of troubleshooting. I mean, everything out there needs trouble, troubleshot because you've got a bunch of users using the same exact thing with different brains and they're all going about it different ways and ignoring certain this thing and certain that thing and it's, it just becomes a mess. So this isn't going to say, I'm not saying this is going to fix all your problems if you're having them, but this sure as hell fixed mine and it fixes a lot of the problems I keep getting reached out to about. So FB and Fox, if you don't know about them and you for some reason watch this whole video and you don't have them, <clears throat> Link in the description with a coupon code gets you 10% off your first month. Also, they have a free lister tool you can use. So feel free to download that, but use the code anyway, because if you do, whenever you decide to buy something, it helps me out, helps my channel out, helps me know that you watched and helps them know that you got that information from me. Just helps me all around and it helps you get a discount. So that I would love that. Also, I've got my course if you're interested and you're new and you want to learn drop shipping, I'm going to be updating my course very soon. A lot of you have been hearing me talk about this for weeks now. Um, I have a whole list of videos already created. I'm just waiting to finish up like three or four more videos so that I can pop everything on there. It's right now, it's normally 150. It's down at 75 bucks right now with my coupon code in the description. Feel free to grab it because once I upload new stuff to it, the price is going to go up a bit and uh, you'll already have access to it. So you just already have access to the new info. So feel free to check that out and buy that. I would love that. That helps support me too. And learn about drop shipping and Facebook shops and marketplace and all that. Okay. I won't keep you any longer. Thanks so much. And I'll see you next time.